Hello, everyone, and welcome to Cocktail Blog number 19. Can you believe it? I find it hard to imagine I've managed to keep it up this long. Ugh, bugs. Okay. Well, tonight's drink, uh, old-fashioned. Thank you, Dr. Dave. Um, I'm enjoying these, and uh, literally with a twist of orange. How about that? Just got a number of topics tonight. Tonight is night two for the Pluto shot. As you remember, I was going to shoot the area of the sky with M75 star cluster and Pluto, and I saved that location, and I'm going to go back to it tonight, Sunday, five days later, take that same photo again, get them perfectly lined up, look for that one dot that moves between Wednesday and Sunday, and that is Pluto. And that is how they found it back in 1930, and that's the way I'm finding it in 2024. So that'll be fun. Not particularly difficult. Just got to get up there and shoot it. Well, I finished taking the data on this really wide field target, which is called Rho Ophiuchi, which is a really wide field view up there near the star Antares in Scorpio. It's a, an area that has great colors and all that stuff, and it's the very first image from the super wide field Radian 61 scope that I've got on the little micro mount. And then it's also one of the first decent images I've tried to take with this one shot color camera, which I bought two and a half years ago and have barely used. It was really expensive too, but it's fun to shoot one shot color on this other rig. No filter here from Namibia. You don't need a filter here in Namibia. And uh, I soaked it up for five hours, just taking the same shot over and over, uh, 300 minutes of exposure, and got the initial result. And while I came in for lunch, I had it go crunch and do all the, the pre-stuff where it goes through the various things. Okay, so this is the very first real image from the, the super wide field setup that I brought. This is five hours of data. And here we go, getting ready to press the button down here. And let's see what the preliminary stretch is gonna make this look like. Okay. Well, it looks like we've got plenty of data. We've got a yellow problem. So we're gonna to have to fix that. But good detail there. I think this image is gonna work. But I worked on it some, and I finally ended up with this. three bugs, four bugs in my old fashioned already. Five. Make that five. At least they don't drink much. Back to blogging. The weather has been getting really warm here. Out of the last five days, there's only been one day that was reasonably chilly at night. I have done the last uh, four out of five stargazes in, in a shirt without having to have a hoodie or anything else. So it's about mid to high 80s during the day at night right now it's perfect 73 74 degrees and we'll stay this way it's going to get a little cooler it's going to get into the 60s by the time two o'clock in the morning rolls around and i've got something to wear so no big deal it's really great that the winter coat is now relegated to packing material in my suitcase rather than necessary equipment so I'm looking for more broadband targets for the wide field scope. My next target for that is going to be the uh, small Magellanic cloud, but I'm gonna have to wait until relatively late in the night to get that started. So I'm gonna try some other project ahead of that. The main scope will be finishing off two targets tonight. We'll be finishing off M83 and the Centaurus A galaxy. And so I'll have those images for you shortly. You know, you just don't have very much time before they get super low. Moon isn't really coming up now until about 1 a.m. and it's not really a factor until about 2 a.m. So I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna have nearly all night to shoot. So in the next 14 days or so, this is crunch time where I'll have all night to get things done. So I could shoot two targets for five hours each from the beginning of the night until just before sunrise. Not that I'm necessarily going to be able to need to do that, but that's the window that I have to do that sort of thing. I'm still working on the food blog. 
I will get that out. We've got a bunch of people going on leave that I know, so I'm going to have to learn a bunch of new names. Fortunately, there's a few holdovers. It's too, we're just cruising right along here. I, the only way I can remember what day of the week it is is when they come to clean the room. They come and clean my room on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I got separate alarms for that. Upcoming activities. I'm on the fence about whether or not I can get on a helicopter ride. Apparently, I have to sort of join up with somebody who's already going as a guest and pay my own way because it's a third-party vendor. There's an ATV ride that you can take, and I think I'll try and be doing that, but maybe not until we get to the next uh, big moon phase before I leave. Uh, I realized I passed a halfway point at my stay here at and beyond. So you're looking towards the end, uh, working hard on music for the band, trying to be ready for the gig that I have to play 40 hours after I land in Savannah. I'm just gonna be on stage with a trombone that will probably feel like gardening equipment in my hands. Here's something. Last night, really late leaving the observatory, it was um, almost four. I looked up and for the first time this trip, I saw Orion come up over the mountain. It was upside down. It was freaky looking. Check this out. Yeah, it was, yeah, crazy. Anyway, so that's it for Cocktail Blog on Sunday night. Carpe Noctum.